Hi guys, this is Hang Wangle. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I have the amazing Miranda Kerr here with me. If anyone follow my makeup career before, I own a lot of this to this woman here. She has been very supportive of my career. The day we met in New York through a friend of us, Harry Josh. And today I have her here, we create this effortless, natural-ish makeup look for you. I hope you enjoyed the video. Give us a lot of love, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to follow both Miranda and I on Instagram as well. Thank you. To start every makeup, as always, I use skincare prep. The first product I use is the Laneige Lip Balm. You guys seen me use this a lot before. It's from a Korean brand. And I like to put generously, let it sit on the lips before we start makeup. For skincare, I'm using Cora Organics Vitamin C Serum, which is also Miranda Kerr, founder of the brand. You guys saw me use this product many times before on the video. I think vitamin C is fantastic for using during the day, before your makeup, great under makeup, in the morning, even underneath your sunscreen. And it's helped to brighten and pigmentation. Is that correct, Miranda? Oh, it's helped me so much with my pigmentation. I used to have very, very dark pigmentation and it's lightened a lot. Yeah. You can still see it, but it's really, really lightened up. Yeah. You can tell, right? Yeah. Your skin is amazing, but I mean, the um, pigmentation after your baby definitely, you know, increase a little bit, but yes. I think vitamin C does help a lot. Yeah, it yeah. helps so much. Yeah. It's so brightening. Yeah. It has kakadu plum in it from Australia. Perfect, good to know. Next, I'm going to use some Noni eye oil. This is also one of my favorite on the brand. I think it's helped to really hydrate the skin area. That's where we put a lot of makeup on usually. We put eyeshadow, eyeliner, we rub a lot. So I think it's great to hydrate the skin in that area as well. What's it in here that uh, it keeps such a hydrating and soothing effect on the eye? So it has natural kahai oil, which is like a natural retinol to help with fine lines and wrinkles. It has tomato extract and it has coffee extract and the tomato helps with brightening and the coffee extract helps with circulation. So it's a good one. And it has rose quartz rollable. Okay, perfect. Yeah. The last product I'm using is Miranda latest face cream. And I've been using this already and Katy Perry is a huge fan. Yeah, she loves it. And this is definitely not an ad at all, you guys, or not a sponsor video. I really love the products. That's why I invite Miranda to come to the channel and share some beauty tips as well for everyone. Mm, thank you. Everyone already know Miranda have a lot of great impact beginning of my career when I lived in New York. She's a huge supporter. Yes, we've and, known each other a very long very time. Long time. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm really honored to have her in the channel today. Mm, thanks and, for having me. Yeah, I'm putting a lot of the moisturizer on. You don't have to put this much just yeah. because I'm going to do a little bit of the, the popping and massage and stuff like that. So if you wonder why I put so much on, that's the reason. If you don't want to use too much moisturizer, you just use a little bit oil, you can actually do the same thing. Yeah, a little bit goes a long way with that moisturizer yeah. too. But this is so good to massage. And I put a lot on right now so I can do a little pop in with the rose quartz here. I love this rose quartz. Feels so good. Yeah. I keep mine in the fridge. I used this on Selena one time, she loved it. She said, what the hell is this? And then I would just, she just That's loved it. That's right. Yeah, she, we, she posted about yeah. it. When Miranda first came out, she just sent to me one and I tried it on. I really love it. And I think it's great. You know, it's great to massage your face by your own hand as well. But sometimes this gives you really nice pressure. Mm -hmm. And which is more consistent than your hand. Yes. Yeah. Because sometimes consistency of the hand is not the same as this one here. You can do it. the pressure is pretty much the same, yeah. Yeah, it sculpts to your face. Yeah. 
I always wake up and I'm very puffy, which is why I love using this. It helps to get rid of the puffiness. Feels so good. Yeah. I think it's a nice to put it right here too. Yes, yeah, so good. This is the easiest way for you to depop the skin if you don't have any of those fancy machines. And I know a lot of you don't have the privilege to spend like hundreds of dollars to go to spend on those depopping machine. So this is like a very affordable and it's easy for you to use and I'm showing this for you guys it's the best way you know to give the skin a little massage just wake up the skin do all the lymphatic drains on the skin it feels so good You can do some on the neck as well. The moisturized melt, that was amazing. Yeah, it melts into your skin. What I love is that they do have turmeric in there. Mm -hmm, yeah. Which is very brightening. Yeah. Turmeric and licorice. Marajuk oil. Yeah, all the... All those key ingredients. You can hold it a little more around the neck here. Mm -hmm. Stimulate the lymph system. And I know we go into detail because you guys love all the skin prep. Today with Miranda here, she is way more than me when it comes to skincare prep. Whenever I work with Miranda, she loves to take the time of skincare. So this is a way for you to learn more today mm -hmm. with all the tips and tricks and everything. Yeah, for me, if the skincare is right, it's such a good base for makeup. Yep. So you saw I put a lot of moisturizer on. You only do that when you do the lymphatic drainage like I, I did, but you only use a little moisturizer. I like to use a lot when I use Dotone just because it's dry a lot better. And if you use a little bit too much before foundation, you can always use a tissue like this and you blot out all the extra moisture before you foundation so the skin doesn't get too shiny but you can see right now that's all you need to do Miranda have amazing skin as you can see just a little bit pigmentation she doesn't need too heavy the foundation if people have pigmentation you might want to add some color corrector before foundation. I think layer too much of those products can look very cakey, so I usually don't use it. So I'm just using the foundation alone. The foundation I'm using is from RMS Beauty. It's called Uncover Up Cream Foundation. It's more a medium to full coverage foundation. It's organic formulation and very natural. You still feel like skin. So use a little bit at a time and you blend it out. When people have skin like this, you don't want to overly cake it up. I think it doesn't look natural anymore. And Miranda, naturally, she doesn't wear much makeup. So I just want to maintain that aesthetic and I just use a little bit at a time. And then we're going to do, you can use your finger and you can use the foundation brush or this more like a powdering brush as well. You can use any brush you like. I like this one because it helps to spread the product out without looking too heavy. As you can see right now, a little bit is go a long way. And it does cover really, really well. As you can see, I didn't use much. You just use the brush and just pat like this. And anywhere that you have pigmentation, you just press it more. Anywhere you don't, you can do a little quick slide like this. I think sometimes it's nice to apply with a brush and you can apply the product in different way you want. You can press or you can just go slightly covered. Miranda have great skin, it's just a few of the pigmentation and that's the only area that I really press in to cover them. You don't need to use any color corrector at all. I think 
the foundation should do the job for you already. Yeah, I like that foundation. It's very, very nice, yeah. For concealer, I'm using the concealer foundation from Marc Jacob. This one is a foundation or concealer. You all can use just as a concealer. I'm using today as the concealer. Miranda doesn't need too much concealer. I'm using mainly just under the eye area a little bit. That's three kids, lack of sleep. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit under the eye. And then I cover any pigmentation that I could not cover from the foundation, but they cover pretty well with the foundation already. And you can use your finger, you can use the brush like this, and just blend it out. And just make sure really blend well together. The concealer, I use a little bit lighter than the foundation. If that's how you normally like, then you just blend in really well. I like the eye area, always a little lighter, just more brightening. For powder, I'm using some loose powder from Laura Mercier, just a little bit to set the foundation and concealer. Close your eye. Yeah, like down the center. Yes, yeah, just mainly in the center area and the rest of them, I'm gonna leave them pretty fresh. Miranda Curl doesn't need any contour at all. I don't think I would want to do anything, but I'm gonna do a little bronzer just to frame the face. Sometimes even you, not the type of contour type, a little bronzer does just give you back all the dimension on the face, especially when you cover with all the foundation and concealer and I'm using the bronzer from Guerlain. Use a large brush. And the best way to use bronzer, I saw people always do, do like this, and I think you really ruin the packaging and everything, and yet too much product. I generally do just a bit like this. And just a little bit, and you see the way I do, just gently give a little color to the face. That's all you really need to do, really, when it comes to bronzer. Head. And you see I just pat it. And instead of do a swiping like this, it's better just to gently you get the color, you don't mess up all the foundation concealer that you worked on earlier. Yeah, I'm crazy about that too. <laughs> Okay, this is way more better because when you do foundation concealer and you apply so heavy with the bronzer, it just takes off everything basically. Mm -hmm. yeah. For eyebrow, I'm going to use the new Huda Beauty eyebrow pencil. Moran have beautiful full eyebrow, so I don't really need to do much at all. I'm just gonna fill in one or two little pieces here and then I try to make the eyebrow a little longer. I frame the face a lot better. And you can see this is where I usually lift it up a little bit. And then some right here. I will try to make them a little longer. And I think that's all you need to do for the brow. Just fill in little gap and just extend it a little longer. I'm going to do the blush first. I'm going to use this color from Rare Beauty. It is a cream blush, but it's more a matte finish. You can use the finger or you can use the brush. Just use a little bit and you blend it out. Because the color of the lips, I'm going to use pretty bright. I'm going to try to keep the blush somewhat softer. You know, I'm, I love a my blush. blush. Softening my version is still a lot of blush. 
a lot of people always say, "Why you put so much blush on?" But I mean, I think I blush, blush is like does keep life. I always get in life. trouble. That will get, I in, get trouble. in trouble too. Yeah, people always say, "Hang you, you too much blush," but I, no. I think it's so beautiful. Me too. Yeah, people don't realize how much life it gives to the face. Yeah. Mm. For you, I think like right here, I use the blush right here. I think yeah. it's even nice. Right, right in there. Yeah. You can't. Some people try to go wide. Yeah. Depend on the face. On Depend face. on the face. Yeah, but I think right I, under my eye looks the yeah. best. She know her face really well, guy. And you guys, you guys see her. She do makeup mostly by herself. Yeah, I do. <laughs> This is being, this is the first time in a long time that someone else has done my makeup. <laughs> I'm going to do the eye and the lip last. I'm gonna continue doing the cheek area. I'm doing a little highlight around the high cheekbone here, the tip of the nose, and the cupid bow. And the product I'm using is also from Core Organic. It's Rose Quad Luminizer. I think you guys saw me use this on my video before. It's a beautiful luminizer that is not overly sparkle. So it looks like glow from within. Sometimes luminizer can look too highlighter, you know what I mean? And this, this one melts into your skin. Melts skin. Yeah, yeah, you can see that how it's just simple. I think you there. used this one on Emily, right? I used it on the first video my when I launched the channel, yeah. Yeah. Just a little bit one, yeah. And you can see it's so little subtle like that, and I love it. Yeah, it's very natural highlighter. Yeah. And it has crushed rose quartz crystals. Should know all the ingredients, I don't. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and coconut oil. And trust me, if someone knows about skincare and makeup, Miranda Kerr is the best example for you to know. Because she understands, I know her for a long time, and she always educate me about skincare, about what to use and everything too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very specific. <laughs> For the eyes, I'm not gonna go in too heavy. I love Miranda with less eye makeup and a nice pop lip color. I mean, she, we do many different looks before. She looked amazing with smoky eye too, but the look today, just really about skincare, soft blush, and then a, a lip color and soft eye. So I'm using two different products. This one is like a dark taupey eyeliner from Sashado and another shadow pencil from Chanel and this more also a taupey shade. I keep the color in the eye more cool color and this one I'm using as a shadow and this one I'm basically used mainly along the waterline just define the eye shape a little bit. It's not about darken the eye just define the lash line. So the first thing you should do is you look down and it's really fine pencil, so basically you just draw along the lash line there. Tickles. Yeah. Ah, I'm bad. I'm a bad model with this. Yeah. So you see, that's all you need to do. Oh, it's been a while since someone's gone in there. <laughs> so now the second part I'm gonna do is look down for me, and just the same thing on the along the lash line here, just from the outer part. And you use a blending brush and blend it out. It's really just define the eye shape. It's not about doing eyeliner. And I love the idea of little pencil like this, that you can actually use it to do it. And I'm doing the same on this side. Next, I am using this Chanel Cream Shadow Liner. So people use it as a line liner as well. I'm using it as a eye shadow. I'm using a little bit. Instead, apply directly. You can use with the blending brush. Look up for me. And you define the eye along the lash line. This gives you very subtle color. That's the whole point I'm trying to do. I don't want to overly darken the eye too much. And just a little bit. That's what I'm doing. My eyes are so sensitive. You see, that's what I'm doing. Just a little bit. And the same thing. I'm using the same. You can see I just blend it out. And this is a long wear liner. So you can actually use them as the shadow. And it's there for you. It doesn't crease. Nothing at all after. You just use very gentle hand and you just blend it out. And I also put a little bit 
along the crease here to define the shape even more. And I add a little bit along the crease area. And you see the way I do, I use a blending brush, that same pencil shadow, and I just blend out and I keep everything very soft and blend it together. She wear a little color, but it doesn't look like a heavy line of where you start, where you end. I just blend it, everything. And then I go back to the luminizer earlier. I do a little bit in the corner of the eye. Close the eye. And maybe a little bit on the lid here. Just keep that more of the radiance on the lid area. The eye like that is amazing. You don't need to do too much eyeshadow or anything else. Just a little liner, smash it out, and a little shadow to define the shape. I'm going to do some mascara on Miranda as well. Look down for me. Miranda have naturally very curled lashes, so I don't need to curl the lashes. I also use a little bit on the lower lashes as well. For the lips, I'm going to use this lipstick color. And this is from an indie brand from Vietnam. It's a collaboration between Moi Cosmetic and Country. And this is the shade I'm going to use. I'm going to use the lip brush to apply, but you can also use directly from the tube. Smile for a little bit. I personally like a bigger brush like this when I apply lipstick. I think the small ones sometimes take too long and also it doesn't get all the corner that you want to. I like the bigger one like this, yeah. So that's the look guys, that's the final look. Pretty easy, effortless makeup look I try to create for Miranda. The only thing, a little more pop, is just the lips color. But you can see the blush, the eyes, everything is very effortless. It's all about skincare today. I really want you guys to really take care of the skin. Flawless canvas without taking care of the skin really well. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you, Miranda, very much for coming to the channel. Thanks for having and me. And make sure to give us a lot of love. Subscribe to my channel and Miranda's channel as well. And don't forget to follow both of us on Instagram. Thank you so much again for watching. Bye.